Hey guys, Kev here. So, you want to defend your Slurpee to the max? Get yourself a Dagger Knives Mermaid OTF. <laughs> so, uh, this OTF is really cool. I got to say, um, the idea, the concept, all of it is very, very cool. The... Um, the execution is good. Um, I wouldn't say it's like top notch, but it's really good. Um, I think you get a cool product here. Uh, I think it's like 180 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere around there. Um, and I think it's well worth that. You have an aluminum chassis, and then you have a VG10 blade. Um, you know, would I would I prefer a better steel? Sure, but this knife is not for really for EDC. Um, you can use it for that, sure. And VG10 is perfectly fine for v, uh, EDC. Ask anybody who's been carrying Delicas and Endellas and uh, Enduras and shit for years. So, you know. Um, but I think the point of this knife is to be a, a self-defense tool sort of right or a self-defense gimmick whatever you want to call it um it does have some downsides which we'll get into um but first aesthetically i think it looks good uh when it's closed you know obviously you have this karambit style ring here um but that's part of the overall concept of the knife so um you know it's fine you're gonna have a bit sticking out of your pocket obviously because the clip comes to here ish um, but that's again, the whole point of the, uh, knife is so it's sitting in your pocket and then you can pull it out like this and then deploy it, retract, right? You have this motion. Um, now left-handed, it's not going to work, right? You put it in your left pocket. What? It does work. What am I talking about? Wait. Why did I not think of this? So hold on. If it's in my right front pocket, pull it out with my thumb. That doesn't work. So how would you do it? Oh, you gotta like come behind it with your index finger and pull it out like this. Shit, it almost works better. Um, get some oil on there. I, I did a disassembly on this if you wanna check it out. Um, so if you were left-handed, this makes more sense. You can just pull it out like this, right out of there, and then you're in a good, you know, self-defense grip. I don't know why I didn't, I didn't really think of that till now. <clears throat> Thumb. No, you got to go index out. I don't know. I think it would be really hard in practice. I, I did it in my, uh, unboxing. You can check that out. Um, obviously, I didn't carry this for self-defense or anything. So um, you're going to have to test that out on your own or something. Uh, um, but it's it's meant to be tactical, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, they do have this milled and blued or blue anode clip, titanium. And then you have blurple hardware, which look good as well. Um, when it is deployed, I like the blade. It's a very cool looking blade. It's very thin for an OTF. Um, and it thins out like crazy down here. Almost like you could sharpen this top part if you wanted to. Um, somebody could probably easily sharpen that up if they, you know, knew what they were doing. Um, and then up here, even there, it's not like super thick, right? Um, so it actually works really well as just a regular EDC knife. I did, uh, open some packages, cut some paper, excuse me, uh, the usual stuff that I do, uh, when I carried it. So I like it aesthetically. I do ergonomically. It's, it's just a handle. I mean, it's just a straight handle. It's good. It's fine. Um, it's not like the most comfortable knife in the world. You're just holding a rectangle, you know? Uh, you can kind of put your thumb back here and, you know, cut this way if you wanted to. Again, this isn't really meant 
for EDC. This is a self-defense tool, you know? Um, so, yeah. Ergos, they have this sort of diamond checkering or whatever it is around it, which is nice. It's comfortable. Right-handed, feels solid. Uh, now, Ergos in this grip are really good. Um, it feels really good like this. It, it's just very comfortable. You know, when I'm going like this, if I was slashing or doing any of these fucking motions, I would never do. Um, it feels good. It does. Um, the ring is nice and comfortable right here. You know, I, I feel confident doing this, and I never do this. So that tells me something. The ergos are good, right? Um, and then disengaging from back here is nice, too. This, honestly, is easier and more fun and reliable to me than the regular OTF style. When I hold it like this, I feel that other switch moving down here. I feel the ring a little bit. It's just not as, it takes a little more effort for me to fire reliably. Like it's good, it's just different. Now, it does come with a plate. So you could take this apart, again, watch my disassembly. You can take this apart and you could put a plate here and remove this button. And then you'll just have this switch. And then you can just use it as an OTF. Now. I do think it would have been cool if they had a way to get rid of the ring too. But, you know, uh, you could also get rid of this switch, plate it, and then have just the karambit style button. Um, they, the buttons operate simultaneously or how cohesively, I don't know how you would put that. So when I push this one, that button switches forward or pushes forward. When I pull on it, it pulls back. So you feel the other one moving in your hand and you can actually stop the action. I have done that on accident where my, my, the meat of my palm got in the way of this switch and it misfired the blade. I don't know if I can show you, try to replicate it. Oh, no, it just fired out. Like, I don't know how I was holding it, but it, it blocked that switch, which doesn't make much sense because the switch has to actuate all the way to work. But I don't know what I did. It just misfired on me. See how sloppy that one was? Because my finger is kind of blocking this a little bit, I think is my theory on it. If you ever knock an OTF off track, so let's take, uh, I don't want to poke a hole in that. Um, oh, here. Uh, a plug Blade HQ because they are a dagger dealer. So if you're looking for dagger knives, I think Blade HQ is one of the only dealers that carries their stuff. I'll link it down below. You can check out the listing. I don't know if they have these, but they have other dagger knives. They're supposed to have more of these. And you can also get these at Dagger Knives website if they're in stock. So check the links down below. They're also pinned in the comment section. So here, if it fails, right? Um, first, a double action OTF. I need to be clear because I made a short on this and a lot of people didn't understand. A double action OTF is where you can open it and close it with the switch. Those are made, they're not made to fail, but that's just how they operate. They have a weaker spring, right? And so if something gets in the way, if something gets in the way, it will misfire bouncing off. Now it still put a little hole in there. It's not going to like completely not hurt. Like, so don't test it on your hand. You will bleed unless you have a really shitty OTF, but you can do a couple things once it's failed like this. I call it off track. Technically it's not off track. It's just not locked in place. People are all crazy about semantics. You get my point. There's two ways to do it. You can just throw it out. That's the way I like to do it. And now back on track or you can throw it down and now it's back on track. You can also just pull it. I would grab it maybe from the spine, yank once, back on track. There's a lot of ways you can get it back in action. You don't, 
you don't have to freak out if you fail your OTF. If you hit it into something on accident and it's it's not locking up, you have options. Just saying. Because I thought that was a big thing when I first got one. I was like, oh, shit. Because like, I was testing it to see if it would go through shit. And I didn't realize it was going to just not go. But if you get a single action OTF, don't fucking play. Don't play those games. Because they have way stronger springs. That's why you have to fucking load them, right? Um, you basically rack it. So like a uh, Microtech, what's it called? The Halo or something? That'll fucking fire right through this box. I, I'm, I'm trying to get one in here so I can do a video comparing them. Because uh, I think people would appreciate that uh, kind of, you know. Anyway, comparison. But uh, the action on this is really good. It fires reliably. It's gotten better and better. So after I took it apart, after I took it apart and I oiled the different areas, I just put ultralight KPL in some spots. It really fires now. It's got a much stronger uh, deployment. Where I swear when I first got it, it was just like, just locking up and, you know. Um, so another thing with OTFs, obviously, is you have to maintain them. You can't just throw it in your knife case forever and, and you know, carry it and then it never uh, has an issue. It's like any knife. You have to maintain it. And basically what I do is I put a tiny, I put a little dot of KPL ultralight along the spine, along the bottom of the plunge, and then along here on each side of the blade. And then I will run that, cycle it a bunch of times, and then I'll just clean the excess off of here like that. And that'll usually keep it in tip top shape. Unless you get gunk and shit in there over time, you might if you uh, use it a lot. Like if you get tape and shit on here and then you're doing this, it, you know, it's gonna get gunked up eventually. Uh, watch my disassembly. It's super easy once you know what you're doing. You just take four screws off, pop it off. You could clean everything um, and then you just put it back together. Once you learn how they pop into the track, it, it was very easy. This was a very nice and simple OTF to take apart. I appreciated that. Um, all right, I'm, I'm getting into the weeds, but yeah, the action's good. Um, I like the buttons, the switches. They are uh, very Microtech-ish, which I guess is just OTF-y. Um, you get a good ramp to, to ride up, good jimping on it. It's rare that I slide over it. Feels really good. And then same thing on this one. So, very comfortable. Um, okay, the negative that I have on this knife is the clip. Um, so, the one that I first got was wiggly. So, I tried tightening it, and it instantly stripped out. Um, and they sent me, that's why I did the disassembly, because they sent me a whole new uh, clip side frame. And I put that in, and then um, this clip has been fine. It, it's not wiggling, it's good. I just worry about it because it has very little space to uh, thread into the body. So I think if you caught it on something or whatever, you're going to start having issues pretty quick. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just had a bad one. Um, and I can attest that their um, customer service is phenomenal. They, I mean, they sent me a whole new lock side. They, they sent me this knife to review. And then they sent me another half of one when I had an issue. So their customer service is good. And I have no doubt they would treat their customers the same way they're treating me. Um, because I'm nobody to them. I reached out on Instagram. I was like, hey, I saw this cool OTF, you know, and they were like, sure, well, you know, we'll send you one. You want to check it out? I was like, yeah. So um, I have no doubt that their customer service is solid. I really like this. It's thin. It's really unique and cool. I mean, <laughs> It doesn't have a stupid glass breaker and they're not trying to be EDC, whatever. Like they're clearly saying, check this out. This is a cool self-defense like weapon, right? Or tool or whatever you want to call it. Um, and yeah, it's probably more gimmick and like, hey, check out what I got than actual 
use this, right? But, you know, it's there. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to wrap this up because I'm rambling like crazy. Um, the tip does not come out. It's close, but it's just like any other OTF. It's solid. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I, I think this is a really cool product. I highly recommend you check it out if you're into this stuff. Uh, it's not really my style, so it's not something I would personally keep in my collection. It's not something I would personally carry, so I'll be honest about that. I, I am going to pass this around to some other channels uh, because I, I think it would be really cool for the community to get everybody's take on this because it's unique and different, and that's what's cool about it. It's unique and different than every other knife coming out right now. But it's not an alien spaceship knife. You know what I mean? Like, it's a little different of an OTF, but it's still just an OTF. And the fact that they thought of this two switch idea and the ring is cool, you know? So I wanna applaud them for that. Great job, Dagger Knives. Um, so check it out. Links are down below. If, if I can find it available, I will link it. If not, I will still link the listing so you can, you know, notify me or whatever on Blade HQ or their website. So, uh, thank you to Dagger Knives. I truly appreciate you uh, letting me check this out, and uh, I'm gonna send it on to the next guy to check out. I have a list, so um, let me know what you guys think down below of the Dagger Knives Mermaid. I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you at 7-Eleven.